Hey all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is High Tech Chris. Got a new one for you today. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but uh, been busy with my day job. So, but today I'm going to be reviewing, or well, kind of talking about um, this Megu uh, wireless controller for. Um, it says it's for the PS3. Or for PC, okay. I got it for my I got it for my computer. Um, the only reason I'm mainly doing a video on this is because usually wireless controllers kind of suck, and I think I paid like 25 bucks for this, 25 30 bucks for it on Amazon. This thing doesn't suck, okay. This thing is pretty good. There is like zero lag whatsoever. Um, you hit a button. It responds. One of the biggest problems with a controller with any kind of lag is with fighting games. You go to hit that button to try to get your timing down to hit the opponent, and like in that and driving games. Driving games are another one where you go to hit a button, and if there's any kind of delay, it screws you up. So, but yeah, zero lag that I've been able to tell. Now I don't have any kind of scientific equipment to be able to test. To see if there is any kind of lag like say within milliseconds I don't have that but just the idea that you hit a button on this thing and it immediately you get an action that's pretty good all right guys interrupting this video show the zero lag As you can see so far, when I hit a button, it reacts. As you'll see, very good for fighting games. I don't have any driving games, otherwise I'd show that. But. It's good having you back, Dinah. You won't think so in a few minutes. Yes, I begin. I am horrible. Admittedly, I'm a button smasher. Okay, I switch over to... Ah! I can see why Bruce likes you. Because I hit like a girl. Oh, 
Oh no, I, lost. I won. So as you can see, it does really well. Now back to the video. Now it comes with this little uh, USB stick that you plug into your computer. It is all pu plug and play. You don't have to download any software. You just plug this in, turn it on, go into a game, boom, you're all set. Very simple. They don't give you a whole lot. Uh, basically, just the controller, the USB stick, and a charge cable because it is rechargeable. That's the other nice thing about this. It's fully rechargeable. You don't have to worry about replacing batteries or anything. You just plug it in with a micro USB that it comes with, plug it into your USB, charges up. Uh, playing around with this, I got it fully charged. For the first time, I think it was like in 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I think once you let it go dead, I think the, uh, I think it did come with a, uh, no, I think I looked it up online, and it said online it's like an hour and a half to charge from a completely dead state. So that's not bad. Uh, it doesn't really say on the box what kind of battery it has, like you know, um, how many milliamp it is or anything like that. Um, or like runtime. It just says uh, company name Shenzhen Hang Pai. Well, I'm not even. Gonna, I'm butchering it. So, uh, but it's got its address in in uh, China uh, with a email address. Oh, there was a user manual. This I don't remember what I did with it, but um, maybe it was the user manual I looked up. And said that it uh, had. Uh, yeah, I must have taken the user manual out. Either way, there wasn't a whole lot to it, if I remember correctly, now that I think about it. But, yeah, it was just a game controller, charging cable, USB receiver, and user manual. And if I remember correctly, most of the user manual is in Chinese. Um, yeah, precision buttons, dual vi- Oh, yeah, this has vibration in it, like you would get with a console controller. Uh, comfort grip, 2.4 gigahertz RF technology. That's, yeah, that's about it. Um, so, does not require, well, obviously it's not going to require Bluetooth because it's got this little donger. So, um, you don't have to have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. You just plug this in and you're all set. <coughs> I wish it would tell you what the battery length was or, you know, how long the battery would last. But, um, I didn't really play with it too much to be able to find out, um, how long the battery lasts so I apologize for that um, based on how long it took to charge I would guess it would last a couple of days I mean obviously not a couple of days of playing non-stop but you know like uh, playing on and off for a couple of days um, probably last if you're like a hardcore gamer and you're playing like eight to ten hours it would probably last the entire time um, I just don't happen to be one of those kind of gamers so uh, I played on it for about 15-20 minutes, and it was showing full charge. So it's got nice tactile buttons, nice and you know they're not like sloppy or anything. Uh, it's got a indicator right here for like hooking up to a console to tell you which uh, controller number you are. Uh, it's also blinks when it's uh, charging. Uh, there's a little four LEDs on there. Uh, they light up blue. I haven't seen it light up any other color, but um, but yeah, it's got a select button, start button, uh, left button, right button, left trigger, right trigger, and uh, your directional pad plus the two thumbsticks. It's very comfortable to hold. Um, actually, kind of like this better than I do Xbox controllers. To be honest with you, uh, it's that comfortable to hold. So. And again, like I said, no sloppy buttons whatsoever. And and I know I'm repeating myself, but no lag. That's the beauty part. No lag whatsoever. So, yeah, if you're looking for a wireless controller, Megu, Amazon. I'll try to leave a link in the description below. So, with that being said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Don't forget to hit the like button and ring the bell for future notifications whenever I upload a new video. And y'all have a good day.